Hey what's up guys welcome to another exciting design tutorial with UX mate today we are going to learn how to create a cool stable component and this is going to be addition in our design system series so if you haven't checked all other videos in the design system or you know the component series on the channel please make sure to go and check out the other videos as well where we have cool videos on how to create a button a table or you know all other components and uh, we have explained all the the details and the properties of the component so today we are going to create a cool step component uh, where we would be able to change the steps uh, real quick just by you know changing the uh, values or maybe you know selecting from a drop down itself and where you can see uh, we are on first step second step third step uh, and so on right so without any further delay let's jump into the figma and get started with it well before that make sure you already subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon next to it because if you are not doing that then you are going to miss a lot of exciting design content on the channel uh, uh, let's jump into the figma and get started so here we are in Figma and I hope uh, you might have already got the UI 3, the new UI for Figma. If not, then don't worry, you can still follow along with the tutorial. Just, you know, the options would be slightly different, but I would try to cover the best possible in both UI 3 and the older version as well. So to create a stepper, you know, first you need to imagine what a stepper is, right? So let me quickly, you know, uh, explain you what does exactly stepper means and where we should use the stepper components. So basically, you know, if uh, we want user to fill in a large form or if we want user to basically, you know, complete uh, the, the, the actions in kind of steps or the wizard, then we should be having different steps. For example, if you, you know, uh, take an example of uh, filling an application for the passport, right, especially in India. So you can see, you know, there are uh, lots of steps involved in the application itself and you have to be on the every step and fill in some data and then, you know, uh, complete your application for the passport so why do we need stepper we can have a long form but if you think about you know uh, users or you know from the ux perspective then you have to think about the cognitive load which uh, it you know adds to the user so if you have a very very long form uh, to fill in definitely you know that is going to add a lot of cognitive load to the users right and they have to keep a track of you know everything which they are uh, doing let's say if they have 50 fields and if we divide them uh, into you know five steps 10 fields uh, in a step then definitely it will reduce a lot of efforts and user can save the draft and they can come back and resume the uh, editing at any point of time but if you know uh, you ask them to fill up all the 50 fields in a single set or in a single go then definitely that is going to be a too much for the user and uh, it is going to be uh, you know uh, definitely a difficult task for them so in such cases, we should, you know, uh, split our uh, design in the wizards or, you know, in the steppers uh, where we would be having multiple steps and user would be completing multiple steps. So uh, what we are going to do in the stepper, uh, basically we would be creating a stepper where, you know, we can uh, change the steps easily, uh, where, you know, we don't have to manually keep on uh, track of, you know, the upcoming steps, the completed steps and the current step, right? So let me just get rid of all these things here and let's start with the very uh base cell right so as you know we always start with the uh the basic component and then we try to merge the components together to create a, a super cool and you know uh a really flexible component right so you don't have to make changes uh always so let me quickly zoom in a little bit let me type step title right and then if you want you can have some description as well so for title let's use uh, probably 16 and for the description let's use uh regular and uh, this time i'll not use enter i'll go ahead with pop-ins just my choice doesn't matter at all okay and this is going to be step description a bit longer and uh, really we don't need you know uh two lines or three lines or a multi-line description here uh, we can just you know have a shorter uh, three to four words kind of thing and let me align it to the left so now you can see you know we have a step title we have a description now we need one more visual element that will basically you know uh, speak about uh, which step it is or is it a completed step or is it an in progress step or you know 
so uh, rather than you know having a separate visual element uh, what i'll do i'll select all of them together i'll hit shift a which is auto layout or you can you know uh, click this auto layout button uh, in the properties panel here if you are on the new ui still you can use shift a as a keyboard shortcut so let me do it shift a it has created an auto layout for us and now let's adjust the spacing i want uh, four pixels uh, gap between title and the description and i want somewhere around 16 pixels on both top and bottom side okay and now uh, we need to have this as rather than a fixed width it should be a hard content so it will you know always uh, take the width uh, of the content within it and uh, for the description i have explicitly you know uh, made it a two liner thing because i don't want you know it to be a very long line and then you know uh, we will not able to fit all the steps in the interface or in the screen right so that's why i have split it into a two line kind of thing so it is readable and it is you know kind of uh, fit it will fit in the screen and uh, you'll able to you know uh, uh, at least you'll able to fit four to five steps in the screen so uh, let's quickly you know adjust the corner radius uh, i'll have eight it is your choice you know and then uh, i will add some fill color to it uh, let's use this lighter shade okay uh, this is going to be our active step and uh, now we would be you know creating the complete step as well so i'll say it uh, step slash active okay you may also add you know uh, lines or the icons to make it you know more uh, entity or explanatory where you know you can uh, use for example check uh, check mark icon so you know if the step is completed it would be having a check mark if not then it could be have a simple circle kind of thing right uh, but let's not make uh, it very complicated okay i'll first you know give it a step uh, itself and then i'll create a component from it so uh, to create a component go to actions and then click on create component if you you know could not find the create component here then uh, you can you know uh, uh, st uh, start typing uh, create component and it will you know uh, show you the component or you can you know start typing component and then it will show you all the uh, the the things which you can you know uh, do with a component right so let's create a component now let's add properties to the component and uh, let's add a variant here and this is going to be my active step sorry uh, we have already created the active step now we need a completed step complete okay and i'll change the property to state so this is going to be my active state so i'll rename the default with an active this is going to be completed for completed step let's change the color so probably we can have uh maybe a bit darker but this doesn't look good let's have something like this and then let's change the the colors for the text in it okay something like this so this is going to be active this is going to be the completed step and then we need one more variant uh, which is going to be our upcoming or you know uh, uh, the the future step right so next step you can see so let me just duplicate this i'll call it uh, next or upcoming uh, whichever you know you feel good so let's have next and then let's change the color a bit and this time let's use uh, probably a gray shade maybe or yeah uh, uh, some sort of uh, you know will basically indicate that it is yet to complete and then uh, for the text i will have the plain black so now we have uh, our basic steps ready now we need to create a step uh, the the stepper itself right so to create a stepper what you have to do is basically you know you have to uh, take a copy of this so you can just hold your option button or alt button and then you know you can drag it uh, on screen so you will uh, get an instance of the component and now if you, you know go to the drop down here you can change the the state of the of the component which you can you know uh, choose whichever uh, a step it is so let's have you know first step as an active let's duplicate this let's select both of them hit shift a which will create an auto layout for us let's adjust the space to probably eight so we can have you know some space between the the steps and then i'll give it a name stepper okay and now uh, i'll select this as next and i'll duplicate this for a couple of times so let's say you know uh, four steps or five steps however you want okay now we have one two three four five right now this is our stepper component but in the stepper we need an ability to you know switch between the steps right so to do that what we have to do is basically we have to create a component here 
uh, still you know you can do it manually uh, without creating a component so what you have to do in that case is you have to you know always go ahead and manually change the active and the you know completed steps uh, one by one for each uh, step every time when you use a stepper so to avoid that what will uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create a stepper component so let's quickly create a component and then now let's add the variance right so let me add the variant uh, this is going to be step number uh, right and by default it is going to be first let's say uh, this is going to be second then this is going to be third and then we are going to have fourth and the last would be fifth one okay fifth and uh, let's just rename the default with one so you know uh, we can have one two three four right for the first stepper we don't have to do anything let's you know uh, go to the second uh, thing let's change this to completed let's change this to active let me do one thing let me select all of them together and let me mark them completed also let me select this this and uh, uh, yes uh, this is going to be completed this is also going to be completed this is also going to be completed okay so i'll select this as then uh, active this is also going to be completed and this is going to be an active and now uh, both of them would be completed here and this is going to be my active step okay so our you know uh, five steps are ready let me quickly show you how to use this stepper component so now let me you know bring it here and you can say step number and then you can simply select uh, which step you want okay so by this you can quickly create a super cool stepper component now you know you would be saying how i would edit uh, the step title and step description so to that uh, so to do that uh, you you know right what we have to do we have to create a text property for the step component not for the stepper we need to do it at the very you know micro level where you know which is the base component so base component is step component so we have to add the text properties here and we would be adding two properties one for the title other one for the description uh, by this you know you can manage the text description for steps at any point of time when you use them in your actual designs okay let me go to the properties here let me scroll down to the typography and then you can see you know we have step title where you can add it as a, or you can create a text property and this is going to be my step uh, title and the default value can be step title we can change whatever we want so let's create a step here uh, a, a property here let's uh, in the same way create the select the description and create a property for the description as well create a property description okay oops sorry i guess i made a wrong spelling yes description so create a property now when you select your uh, stepper component uh, let me just give uh, uh, pull it here and you say you'll see you know i'm not having the the properties which we have created here so you know to access the nested properties we have to select the stepper component and we have to you know expose those properties so how we can do that so we can go to the properties uh, we can click, click on plus and then we can you know uh, expose properties from the nested instances now it will ask you uh, which instance you know you want to expose so i want to expose all of them because i need an ability to edit all the titles and descriptions just uh, at you know the parent level of the component and i don't always have to go uh, uh, into the nesting and select the individual steps and do it one by one so i can select all of them and now you can see you know uh, it basically has all the properties uh, exposed uh, on the parent itself so i can change the titles here uh, real quick step one this is going to be oops, sorry this is going to be step two and this would be step three step four and then we have step five okay so now uh, you can also change the description as well but i'll keep it as is okay uh, sorry i did a step and exclamation okay sorry yeah but doesn't matter now you can see you know we have the step component ready with us you can change the steps uh, and you can you know quickly uh, do it just with a simple setup of a component and then by this you can you know basically create any number of steps just within the minutes because we have started with a very base component which is uh, our you know primary uh, building block of the entire stepper and then we have just created a auto layout uh, sorry or an auto layout uh, of the steps and then you know we have just changed few properties real quick and you know our entire stepper component is ready within the minutes right so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you are new on the channel be sure to uh, you know subscribe to the channel and don't forget to write down in the comments that you know what you have learned from this video if you know uh, this was really helpful for you at all so yes till the next video keep watching keep learning keep designing